In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the particular solution of a second order differential equation. The question reads, solve y double prime minus 4y prime plus 3y is equal to 0 if y prime is equal to 5 at 1 and 2. One thing you'll notice right away is that this is a second order equation where the right side is equal to 0. And as a result, you can match it to the auxiliary equation shown below. Technically, we can convert this into this quadratic and find values of m that will represent constants within the general solution. So let's rewrite this so that it fits the auxiliary equation. We have am squared. In our case, we don't have a coefficient in front of y double prime. So that will be 1m squared plus the coefficient here is negative 4, negative 4m. And the coefficient for y is 3. Plus 3 is equal to 0. Rewriting this, we have m squared minus 4m plus 3 is equal to 0. The next thing that I want to do is factor this. What two numbers multiply to 3 and add to negative 4? The answer to that is simple. It's minus 3 and negative 1. So we have m minus 3 m minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, if we solve for m, we end up with m is equal to 3 and m is equal to 1. Using these values of m, we can substitute them into the general solution of the second order differential equation, and that's shown below. We have y is equal to c1, our first constant, e to the power of, let's call this m1, 3x plus c subscript 2, times e to the power of our second m times x. So now we have our general solution and we're told that y prime at the point 1 and 2 is equal to 5. So how do we find y prime given that we just found this general solution? Well, you can take its derivative. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's take the derivative of this equation. We end up with y prime is equal to c subscript 1 times e to the power of 3x. And we need to find the derivative of this term. That's not hard to do. Now we just take the derivative of 3x and multiply it to this term. The derivative of 3x is 3. So this term times 3 plus c subscript 2 times e to the power of x, taking the derivative of x is 1. So you multiply this term by 1, and you get the exact same thing. I'll substitute 5 into here. And our point was 1 and 2. So I'll substitute 1 into these x's. We have c subscript 1. e to the power of 3 times 1 is e to the power of 3 times 3 plus c subscript 2. e to the power of 1 is simply e. I'll leave this equation like that for now. Now that I found this equation, the next thing that I'll do is substitute the point 1 and 2 into the equation that's written in brown. So substituting the point 1 and 2, where y becomes 2, c subscript 1, e to the power of 3 times 1 is 3, plus c subscript 2, e to the power of 1. And using this equation that's written in black and the equation that we found in orange, I'll try to solve for c subscript 1 and c subscript 2 simultaneously, much like how I would solve a linear system. Of these two unknowns, c 1 and c2. I'll start by eliminating this term, and I can do that by subtracting these two equations. 5 minus 2 is 3. This term minus this term is 3 minus 1, which is 2 c subscript 1 e to the power of 3. And these two terms become 0. Now, I'm going to solve for c subscript 1 by dividing both sides of this equation by 2 times e to the power of 3. So we have 3 over 2 times e to the power of 3. And this number represents c subscript 1. I'll use my calculator. 3 over 2 times e to the power of 3. And this gives us 0 0.0746. 0 0.0746. I'll take this number now and substitute it either into this equation or this equation to find c subscript 2. In other words, I'll take this and place it right there. Doing my work over here, I have 2 is equal to 0 0.0746 
times e to the power of 3 plus c subscript 2 times e. I need to find out what this is. So I'll take whatever this is equal to to the other side and then divide both sides by e. Here's what I mean. 2 minus 0 0.0746 multiply to e to the power of 3 divided by e and we get 0 0.18. C subscript 2 is 0 0.18. We're almost there. The last thing we have to do is take these two numbers and place them into the general solution. So for here, I'll put 0 0.18, which is the number I found. And over here, I'll put 0 0.0746. And there you have it. This represents the particular solution to the second order differential equation.